What's going on everybody? So you have a Hayward saw system and you're getting a no flow, even though that your pool pump is on and everything is working and you checked all the other parameters. Well, I'm gonna give you one tip right now to let you know what you can do to figure out what exactly is the problem with your Hayward Aquarite saw system right now. At this moment right now, we have a, a very good flow. And just to show you guys, pool is circulating, pool is on. Is flowing okay. So, when you have all these different things checked out, you know, you're getting a good flow, you have a good pressure, and you check to make sure that your filter is cleaned out nine times out of ten, you're definitely having an issue with the either some type of uh, problem with the actual system itself or the flow switch. Now, our flow switch is located right under there right there that's our flow switch okay so we have our sauce our sauce cell right here and we have our flow switch over there so we're right now have an aqua right that is showing us signs of no flow so the easy thing that you can do is just so i can show you is right here right underneath the unit itself this cable that I'm holding in my hand, this is the actual cord that's coming from the flow switch, okay? Now this flow switch is just like a telephone connector. It has a, a button, like a lever right underneath. See it right here? Probably can't see it, but you're gonna be clicking it. You pull it and you pull it down, okay? I wanna just show you really quickly on this data cable. All you can see is there's two wires right there, okay? Those two wires connect up underneath and that's what gives the board, the main board, sensing that there is flow. But I wanna tell you this one trick before you go ahead and you start replacing the flow sensor without checking this, this tip is gonna definitely give you your answer if the problem is actually the flow switch or if it could actually be the main board that has gone bad. I would say there's 60 to 70% of the time, it definitely will be your flow switch, okay? The other 30, uh, 30 to 40% potentially could be the actual main board itself that has uh, failed and it's not your flow switch. So before you go ahead and you spend your money on the flow switch to determine if the board is the actual bad part and you actually had a good part and then you uh, basically waste your money on that part, you wanna go ahead and do this check. Now with this check, all you simply need is any good old flathead screwdriver. This flathead screwdriver, now don't be alarmed with what I'm about to tell you. This tip has been given to me directly from Hayward Technical Support. All you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take this flathead okay and you're gonna go up up into the contacts and you're gonna press forward to you as you see again the data cables this is the way it goes in okay with the lever in the back so the connectors are right here in the front and those connectors are right here up underneath inside there all this simply is gonna do is make contact and once you make con a good contact, if the board is still good, we're gonna get this flow switch is gonna start to flash. If we make good contact on the internal connecting terminals and this stays red, then it potentially is the board. So I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna take our flathead, I'm gonna come underneath, I'm gonna come up and press forward. I'm gonna make a good contact. Saw that flashing? Not making good contact yet. There it is, okay? So if you make good contact and you're moving around, keep not making that great of a contact, but you'll see, once I make good contact here, that's actually, and I'm a little tied up here, that actually is gonna flip There. We keep it right in the same place, and we'll see that thing will go 
to generating because all this is is sensing we're tricking the board to make sure to make it seem like we're having flow in the pool see there we go right there we know for a fact that this board is good and our flow switch is bad if this does not happen for you the other 30 to 40 percent of the time your main board is going to be bad so now now that we determined that you see we released it and it went back to no flow next thing we don't want to do is is go ahead and turn off our unit so we can get ready and replace our flow switch recommend that you do buy the original uh, flow switch there are some uh, some uh, aftermarket ones but I never found them to to work uh, I've had other people tell me that they don't work for very long so definitely go ahead and get yourself the original flow switch from Hayward uh, if you don't uh, if you can't don't want to do this or you don't have the time to do this definitely hire a licensed contract a pool contractor to do this for you they can easily come out and do the switch out for you if you have the time, I'm going to show you right now. So right under here is our flow switch. Yours may be in a different position. Ours is a little bit incognito underneath. You're definitely going to want to know the orientation and the flow of where your pipe is going to. As you can tell right here, these are these two yellow lines. These are the arrows of pointing in the direction of where the flow is going to. So you, once you have your system off, any pair of pliers that you have will definitely work. And all you're simply gonna do is unthread your flow switch. This is basically all that it looks like. You see here, we had a broken part already that came off of it. And that's, we're gonna go ahead and leave that to the side. And I'm gonna show you what we can do to double check this. You can actually take your flow switch. Ah, you know what we could have done there before. Is, um, what you can actually do is, before you unscrew it, you can actually take the flow switch itself and I jumped a little bit. I did want to show you this. Um, you can actually take your flow switch itself. Okay. And right in the same packaging that we have it in, all you can simply do is leave. What you do is you leave your, uh, oh, sorry about that. You leave your flow switch plumbed in over there in place. Okay, hopefully you see me all right. You leave your flow switch in place. You find, you disconnect the old one, like we had it. Over banding. Get this paper. And this did come with a piece of cardboard. Fail. It typically it came like this. All this does is this creates the contact and that closes the internal circuit inside of this flow switch. So by leaving this on there, you'll keep that contact closed. You find the end of, of your, your flow switch here. I'm getting bitten up. And all you simply do is go ahead and plug it in into your unit there turn your system on and if you start getting that flashing you know for sure that uh, you got a bad part and to go ahead and replace this part okay so we're going to go ahead and replace this part right now it's so tight in here. look at look at this 
I gotta squeeze between that and that. Okay. All right, so get that part out, put the new part in. Very simple, guys. I'm in the bushes here. You want to put the don't don't thread that part in. I want to show you the orientation. Okay, it has an arrow pointing this way. Whatever direction that your water is flowing, that's the way you want to keep the direction. Because as the water hits it, it closes against this and it allows this to continue. It closes that circuit as the water hits against this this uh, switch right here. So don't uh, run your cord yet. It's best to uh, you don't need to put any more Teflon. It already had comes uh, from from Hayward wire with Teflon. Go ahead and put that in there. Start to screw it down manually. Be careful with the cord as you're twisting it. You know, just as I'm doing it here, untangle it as you're twisting it. This is why you don't want to put the uh, run the cord yet. Again, you're going to plug it in in this manner, right underneath, right there. Open this up. Put it in the service book, keep it on. There we go. Yeah, that's flashing there. That's a good sign. We have completely successfully repaired this saw system, so it is working again. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you learned something. I gave you a really great tip on how to diagnose your Hayward Aquarite system. If you are getting a solid red on the no flow, remember, take your flathead, take your uh, take the actual cable off uh, from underneath the main box, put your flathead forward, get a really good contact on it, and again, go through the steps, rewatch this video if you need to. I really appreciate uh, all the support. If you can go ahead and give me a like on this video, if you have learned something, please subscribe to my channel. We do have a goal to hit a thousand uh, subs. I'm not gonna give any time frame, but I would like to hit a thousand subs by the end of 2020. That would be really great since we started in 2020. So all the support you can give, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day.